Trevor Kaczynski. At center number 15, a seven foot junior from Bellingham, Logan Childer. At guard number five, a six six junior from Woodsville, Trey Trexel. And at guard number 25, a six seven sophomore from Linden, Dalton Hellman. Now fans, let's read tonight's starting lineups for your Seattle Pacific Falcons. The Falcons are coached by Grant Lee. His assistants are Keegan Bowe, Matt Barton, and George Parker. Let's meet your Falcon starters. At forward number two, a 6'5 junior from Maple Valley, Coleman Wooten. At forward number 32, a 6'6 sophomore from Woodenville, Tony Miller. At center number 30, a 6'8 junior from Richland, Nathan Streifert. At guard number 22, a six foot sophomore from Sandy, Utah, Kate Colosimo. And at guard number 33, a 6'5 sophomore from Wenatchee, Gavin Long. It is one of the best rivalries, if not the best, in this conference. It's the SPU men and the Western Washington Vikings. The Falcons get set to start this matchup with Western Washington. They are 6-3. Overall in the year, one and one in the GNAC. Western Washington, seven and three overall, two and two and zero oh in the GNAC season. How are you doing, everybody? Tom Chilinar with you. We are getting all set to give it a go. Falcons in the home whites and Western Washington in the dark blue road jerseys. Falcons will go from left to right on your screen in this first half. Western Washington, right to left. Tip off coming up here between Tony Miller and DeAndre Dixon. And Western Washington wins the opening tip. The Falcons start off on the floor right now with Coleman Wooten, Gabe Calissimo, Nathan Stroyford, Tony Miller, Gavin Long. Western Washington starts out with Trey Drexel, Logan Schilder, DeAndre Dixon, Trevor Chizinski, and Dalton Hamas, who just made the first basket of the game for Western Washington. Calissimo over to Wooten. Wooten heading to the left, now top of the circle. Gives it to Long, and now it's going to be Stroyford who thought about posting up. Now he kicks out to Miller, and Tony Miller banks one in. The bank was open that time for Tony Miller, even though it's well past 5 o'clock, and it's 3-2. Three to two. Three pointer on the way for Dixon. That's good. He takes back the favor. DeAndre Dixon, the 6'9 senior from Eastern Eastern California. Eastern California, excuse me, makes the three. 5 3 the score. Calissimo heading left. Tries to bounce it inside. And I think that ball was kicked. No foul, just a kick ball on the pass intended for Stroyford in traffic. Inbounds coming up from the baseline. 21 seconds to shoot. Long will inbound. He goes to Stroyford. Now it's Calissimo. Calissimo with the ball against Jasinski. And now they go to Long to Miller. Tries the three. It's short. Well defended that time by Schilder. Falcons can't save it. And now here comes Drexel. Drexel with the ball. He finds Hamas. And now Jasinski over to Hamas. Top of the circle. 17 to shoot, ball fumbled away, good defense by Long. Thomas driving left. And Falcons trying to force a tie-up, they force a travel instead, that's even better. And SPU will get the ball back. Inbounds coming up here. Tony Miller will inbound for the SPU Falcons. He goes to Gabe Calissimo. And now he hands off Coleman Wooten. Wooten heading left around the screen set by Stroyford. Now Calissimo over to Stroyford. Has a hard time handling it, but it squirts back to Calissimo. Now it's Wooten. Top of the circle, driving left. 
And he is going to go to Calissimo, driving left, and now it's Stryfer, tries the three. It's going to be no good. Rebound tipped into the hands of Long. And now it's going to be Calissimo with it, directing traffic. 20 seconds to shoot in, counting for the Falcons. 5-3, Vikings ahead, still early in the first half. Wooten for three, and it's going to rim out, and the rebound gets into the hands of Drexel. Back the other way we go now. Trey Drexel with the ball for Western. To Chizinski, over to Schilder. Drexel for three, and that's going to go in and out. It was actually Chizinski, excuse me, who tried the three. Falcons get the rebound. Here's Calissimo over to Miller. And now it's Long who heads to the left. Left corner, Wooten. Against Chizinski. And he finds Stroyford over to Calissimo. 11 to shoot. Calissimo coming in, shoots the three, and it's short. Rebound gets in the hands of Stroyford, though. Falcons get another chance at it. Miller fakes, comes in against Dixon, and that one is well short, no foul. Stroyford can't get the loose ball. Here comes Drexel in the front court. Trey Drexel over to Dixon, and that shot is short, and the rebound gets into the hands of Miller. Back the other way we go now. Calissimo, left hand, too strong. Rebound going to Jasinski. Jasinski, outlet pass, a little too high for Dixon. Gets it inside though to Schilder, and Logan Schilder scores. The seven foot junior from Bellingham gets it done there, and he puts Western up by four. Seven to three. This is Long with it now. Gavin Long right side. Calissimo. Works it to Wooten. Wooten heading to the right. Fakes. Goes up. He's hit. And they call it tie it. The Falcons will get the arrow, but a little surprised that wasn't a foul of any kind. So time on the floor. Less than 16 minutes to play first half. Score is 7-3 Western, and we'll be back in a moment. All right, we continue on here. 15.50 left, first half. Possession arrow favoring the Falcons following the last tie-up that was called. High pass, broken up. Stroyford can't get it. And the loose ball goes to Schilder. And going all the way with a slam dunk is Hamas on the Western Washington end. They get the takeaway, and then they get the score in transition as Braden Olsen touches the ball for the first time. He gives it to Harry Cavell. Cavell driving left, going up, and he scores high off the glass. And it's 9-5. to five. Falcons down four here, still very early on in this contest. Now this is Dixon. They try to go underneath in traffic toward Jasinski, but it's out of bounds off Western. Back in for Seattle Pacific, number 33, Kevin. And Gavin Long checks back in for the Falcons. Looks like it's Cavell who will 
Or no, it wasn't Cavill. I think it's Wooten who took a seat there. And now it's Cavill with it right side. Hands it off, Stroyford. Driving right long, and now it's Miller driving left. Bounces inside, long, goes up. Fouled on the way up by Shilder. Logan Shilder is going to get called for the foul here. And that will be his first personal first of the half on the Vikings. So Gavin Long to the line. He will shoot two here for SPU. And the first shot on the way for Long is up and good as it rims in. So 9-6 the score. Long on the scoreboard for the first time tonight for the Falcons. 14.55 left first half. Just underway here at Royal Brown Pavilion. Second free throw up and good for Long. 9-7. Rexel with the ball now. Against Olsen heading to the left. Rexel being double teamed, so he'll just kick it out. A fake here for Jasinski. Comes in. Working along the baseline against Long. Now he kicks out Hamas. Now Jasinski in the corner. Now it's Dixon. Posting up. Works it inside. Reverse layup. No good for Hamas. But the rebound, loose ball gets back to Hamas. And Hamas floats one up, can't make it. Rebound, Dixon, right hand hook. Good on the putback. DeAndre Dixon scores 11-7 in favor of the Vikings now. Green set by Stroyford. Cavell kicks out. Long passes tipped away by Drexel. But the Falcons get the loose ball back. Here's Olsen. A whistle here. I think he may have... Palm the ball or no? I think we're going to get. We're going to get some kind of stoppage. Still haven't gotten. Vikings number 10. Sion Rojas. Still haven't gotten any announcement about what the whistle was about, but Sion Rojas is allowed to check in the game here for Western. Well, that's all we know about that stop. 17 seconds still to shoot for the Falcons. Olsen with the ball here. Heading to the left. Miller with it. Miller coming in, left hand. It's going to roll out. It just did not want to go in the hole. Dixon with the rebound. And now a whistle here, and Rojas walked. So a turnover here for the Vikings. Inbounds coming up. Miller delivering it to Olsen. Olsen with the ball to Miller. Now it's going to be long. Stroyford hands off Olsen. Olsen heading to the left. Stops, bounces inside. Cavell easy reverse layup. And it's good. And it's 11 to 9. Cavell all by himself in the paint. And in the high post. Cavell now with four points off the bench early on. Rojas with the ball. This is Jasinski. Rojas. Bounces to Dixon. 13 to shoot. Posts up. Right hand turn around. No good. Rebound Cavell. Back the other way. Here comes Olsen. In transition. Olsen thinks he can do it by himself. Now he stops. Kicks out Miller. Tries for three. It's going to rim out. And the rebound to Stroyford. Bounces to Long. They go inside. Cavell fakes. Goes up. Draws the foul on Rojas. And he'll go to the line. Second foul of the half on the Vikings. So that is going to be the first foul on Rojas. And now off to the line is Cavell, and he will shoot two. First shot coming up for him. It's going to be up and good. Cavell came into this game shooting 14 at 21 from the free throw line. As Nikhil Lazat checks in for the Falcons for the first time. You can certainly turn up the Jets and bring a lot of speed to the table. Coleman Wooten back in the game as well. Second free throw up and good for Cavell. A 6'6 freshman from Kaiser, Oregon. Now another whistle here as Drexel was going to go across the timeline. Now an official's timeout has been called. Don't know what this is about. Doesn't look like they want to look at the monitor. 
I guess nobody was ready to play yet. Maybe they were updating the scoreboard. It's 11-11 now after the two made free throws by Cavill. And now here comes the shot. And it's no good for Drexel, and he's fouled on the way up from the outer edge of mid-range. Foul this time going on Olsen, and that's his first. First team foul. So Drexel will go to the line this time. He shoots two. First shot on the way for him is going to be no good. Wide to the left for the 6'6 junior from Woodenville. Drexel gets one more free throw. 28 to 35 from the charity stripe this year going into this game and he makes the second of two and it is a 12 to 11 contest. Western up by one. Close game early on. First of two meetings this year between the Falcons and the Vikings. As Wooten gives it over to Olsen. Finds Cavell. And now it's going to be Wooten with a quick shimmy and a Shake and a drive to the left hand. He misses, but just getting the rebound with his left hand and immediately tapping it back in was Tony Miller. So that gets the Falcons in the lead. Ruxel with the ball. Now it's Dixon posting up, and that's going to be an offensive foul. He was way too aggressive there with Tony Miller. And that will be the third foul on the... Vikings in this half, the first overall on Dixon. Timeout on the floor with less than 12 minutes to play, first half. Score right now is the SPU Falcons 13 and the Western Washington Vikings 12. Hunter Eisenhower checking in for the Falcons as we get set to pick up the action with 11.53 to play. First half score is 13 to 12. Falcons ahead of the Western Washington Vikings for basically the first time tonight. Olsen with the ball here. Tom Gilanella here with you. Live from Royal Brome Pavilion, the campus of Seattle Pacific University in downtown Seattle as Miller gets rejected inside and Chizinski gets scoops up the loose ball and now it's Drexel. Trying to cross over, now he gives it off to Jasinski from three-point land. He misses, and the rebound going to Lazat. Back the other way we go. Nikhil Lazat. Driving left, fumbles the ball. It's loose, and it's scooped up by Hamas. And now in the break, it's Kingma, and Kingma scores in the foul. No, no basket, offensive foul. Brett Kingma is called for the offensive foul. And that's his first personal team's fourth, and the Western fans not happy about that call. They thought they had a basket, but no dice there. Inbounds pass coming up. Hand off to Calissimo, and now another whistle. Don't know what that stoppage was about. Now I guess maybe they're going to wipe off a, a part of the floor. Vikings now with four team fouls. 
by the way, in this first half. Falcons with just one still. 11-10 left before half, and now we play basketball again as Calissimo gets the inbounds from Wooten. Calissimo with the ball, bounces over to Wooten. Wooten looking for a friend. He's going to find Eisenhower. And now Calissimo to Lazat. Lazat gets some space, shoots a three, no good, it's short. The rebound gets into the hands of Hamas. Back the other way we go, in transition, Jasinski working left, goes up, counted in the foul. And Western Washington goes back in the lead. 14-13, three-point play coming up. Three-point play opportunity coming up, that is. Foul that time on Calissimo, six-foot senior, or six-foot sophomore, excuse me, from Sandy, Utah. And Jasinski's gonna make the free throw, and that gets him to three points now on the night on the scoreboard for the first time this evening with those points. And it's 15-13. Eisenhower, Wooten, now it's Lazat heading to the right. Now it's Calissimo fakes out the defender. He kicks out Eisenhower, and he hits it from three-point land. Hunter Eisenhower scores from deep, and it's 16-15. Drexel, Thomas, and they work it to Jasinski, goes up, counted in the foul. They were basically going around the perimeter with Fernandez and then Kingma and then Jasinski, and Jasinski made the shot, and he goes to the line for one, following the Falcon foul. Third of the half on SPU. First overall on Tony Miller, and the free throw up and good for Jasinski. Now a brief delay to wipe off some condensation off the floor. Meanwhile, Logan Schilder checks back in for the Vikings. Thomas, or Drexel, excuse me, checks out of the game. Tony Miller checks out for the Falcons. Nathan Stroyford checks back in. Inbounds pass coming up. Calissimo with it. Calissimo to Lazat. Now it's Wooten. Calissimo, Stroyford, Calissimo heading to the left. Screen set by Stroyford. Bouncing inside. Stroyford goes up, draws the foul. Can't make the hoop. It'll go to the line for two. Falcons will have a chance to tie with two successful free throws here. Foul that time going on Shoulder, and that's going to be his second personal foul, team's fifth of the half. Five fouls now on the Vikings in this first half. And Three on the Falcons. First free throw up and no good off the back iron for Stroyford. And Calissimo checks back in for the Falcons. Our big part, he was just talking with Lazat. And the second free throw up and good. Here comes the inbounds to Fernandez. Jasinski, reverse layup, no good. Rebound to Stroyford, back the other way we go. Calissimo, Lazat, Calissimo, three-pointer on the way. No good, that would have given the Falcons the lead. They get the loose ball back though, and offensive foul as Calissimo tried to kick it out to the corner. That'll be the fourth foul on the Falcons in this half, second on Calissimo overall. And now Olsen will check into the ball game. Calissimo will take a seat. Inbounds pass coming up. 18-17. That's the score right now in favor of the Vikings. Blake Fernandez touches the ball here. Takes it across the timeline. Heads to the left. Goes up. Left hand. Layup is good off the glass. 20-17. Vikings by three. Olsen with the ball. Stroyford. Passes left, three-point shot on the way. Good for Eisenhower, we're tied. Hunter Eisenhower is second tray of the half. 20-20, Fernandez, Thomas. Going up, no good from the free throw line. Rebound gets into the hands of Stroyford. Handoff here going to Olsen. Olsen coming in, kicks out to Wooten. Wooten doesn't want to post up, goes to Lazat, heads to the right, now he backpedals. Now he gives it to Olsen. Pass left, Wooten driving right, kicks out, back to Olsen, driving left, goes up, tries to pick out the defender, can't get the layup. And the rebound gets into the hands of Hamas. 
Now it's Fernandez hustling in the front court. Kingma comes in, shoots a deep two, no good. Rebound gets into the hands of Dixon. And the Vikings keep possession alive as Fernandez gets the ball. 20 to shoot. Coming in was Jasinski, and he gets it inside to Dixon, who slides through the side door, and he gets the easy slam dunk. Seven points here in the half for Dixon, and it's 22 to 20. Vikings ahead. Eisenhower with the ball. Lazat. Thinking about doing something with the ball. Now he heads left, gets enough space to shoot a two. Can't make it. Wasn't even close. Rebound to Hamas. Lazat still scoreless right now. Coming in off the bench. Handoff going to Kingma. Shoots a three. Good from the right side. Western by five. One of their biggest leads of the half so far. Olsen with the ball. Finds Lazat. Lazat coming in, creeping in. Now he kicks it out to Olsen. Olsen spins around Kingma. Goes up. Shoots the two. Count it in the foul. So they just made the announcement that the basket was good. Foul that time going on Kingma, his second, sixth of the half on Western. Timeout on the floor with inside of eight minutes to play in half number one. Score is 25-22. Vikings up by three. Falcons a chance to get the score within two when we come back. Seven twenty-seven left in the first half. Falcons down 25-22. And Olsen to the line for one free throw following his made basket. And here it comes from the freshman, and that's good. So Olsen on the scoreboard with three points. Kigma checks out of the game now for... The Vikings, Rojas checks in once again. 25-23, competitive ball game in this first half between these two in-state rivals, between these two Western Washington rivals. And now it is going to be Dixon posting up against Miller, and he goes up and misses, even though Miller kind of got bent sideways there. And now it's Olsen in transition. He saw an opportunity for himself, and he can't make the layup, but he will go to the line for two. Blake Fernandez called for the foul, his first, team seventh, so that puts the Falcons in a bonus situation, but it's not one and one here. This is a shooting foul. Two shots for Olsen. First shot's going to rim out. So still 25-23 as Brad Wallace checks in for the Vikings. And he checks in for Fernandez. Second free throw. Up and good for Olsen. So the freshman now with four points. And it's 25-24. Here's Rojas. Hands it off. Drexel loose ball. Still loose and it's picked up by Olsen. And now in transition. Cavill lays it in. Harry Cavill scores. And that puts the Falcons in the lead. Timeout called by Western, and that's their user to lose a timeout here in half number one. So a good run here for the Falcons. Six-nothing run puts them ahead, 26-25, and we'll be back in a moment.
Following the 32nd timeout, Falcons up 26-25 over Western Washington. Vikings now with three timeouts left. Four timeouts still for the Falcons left. 6.37 and counting left until halftime. Rojas. And he goes up against Cavill and he scores with the right hand. Sion Rojas scores. 27-26, Vikings back ahead. Long with the ball right side. Screen set by Cavill. And a little bit of a long pass, but Eisenhower handles it. Now it's Olsen. 12 seconds left to shoot. Screen set by Cavill. Olsen almost fumbled the ball, and he lost the ball there to Rojas. He handed it right to him as he tried to deliver it to Cavill in the high post. So here comes Rojas. He hands it off. Thomas coming against Cavill. This is Dixon. Coming in, they can't poke it free from him. Shoots with the right hand, no good, gets it back. And now a whistle here. I think somebody was out of bounds and I think this is going to be Viking ball. They, they announced out of bounds on the floor. The Vikings will inbound this ball with 28 seconds left to shoot on the clock. The shot clock that is. Inbounds here to Dixon. Hands it right back to Hamas. Shoots the three against Long. It's no good. And the rebound going to Miller. Short handoff Olsen. Olsen fakes. And I think he walked with the ball. He did. A little bit too much of a hitch in his step there as he tried to pump fake. So the inbounds pass coming up here in just a moment for the Vikings. Thomas will inbound from the end of the Viking bench, and he delivers it over to Rojas. Hands it off. Jasinski. Wallace. Dixon posts up, and he kicks it out to Rojas, working the baseline, finds Dixon. 12 to shoot, 11, shoots the three, and he drains it. DeAndre Dixon puts it in. 30 to 26, Vikings by four. Here's Olsen with the ball. Less than five minutes left till halftime. Miller passes left to Eisenhower. He tries to take back the three and he dies. Hunter Eisenhower puts it in. His third tray of half number one. 30 to 29. One point game again. 437 left till half. Dixon. Fumbles the ball out of bounds. Dixon just fumbled it on his own as he was trying to decide what to do with the ball. And he just pounds the ball to the floor in frustration. So a gift turnover there for the Falcons. And now it's going to be Olsen with the ball. Front court. Bouncer to Cavill. And now it's Eisenhower. Another three. And another make. Hunter Eisenhower. He's got four trays now in this half. He can feel it from deep. 12 points for him overall. Drexel, Rojas, top of the circle. Shoots from deep, would have been a three, and it's no good in and out, and Olsen gets hacked from behind as he tried to start something in transition. That'll be number eight on the Vikings in this half. Number one on Drexel, Trey Drexel. And Olsen will go to the line now for one and one. Olsen two of three so far in this half from the free throw line. Let's see what he can do right here. And he makes the first, so he gets another. Falcons up three. Looking to add on to the lead. And now Tony Miller checks out. Nathan Stroyford checks in. Second free throw coming. It is going to be good for Olsen. 34-30. Looks like Lazat checks in now for Olsen after he makes his free throws. Inbounds pass coming here. Goes to Drexel. Falcons up by four. 
Now it's Rojas. Short hand off Jasinski. Drexel heading to the right. Drexel with 17. Drexel. Oh, a bad pass and tape for Rojas, and Long gets it before he goes out of bounds. Long tries to deliver it to Cavill, and it's out of bounds. Last touch looked like off the Vikings, and a timeout on the floor with 3.41 to play in the first half. Good game so far. Falcons up 34-30. We'll be back in a moment. Three forty-one left in half number one. Falcons up 34-30 over Western. And the inbounds pass coming up here. Long. Lazat has it broken up and he does a nice job to save that from being an over and back situation. Now Miller left corner against Dixon. Long. Fakes, goes up, draws the foul and he'll go to the line. Two shots for him. And that'll be foul number nine in this half on the Vikings. And it's going to go on Dixon, and that will be his second. So two shots coming up here for Long. And Gavin Long will make the first free throw. It's 35-30. to 30. Kingma checks in the game for the Vikings. In the game for Dixon. Second free throw coming up here. And Long will make it to make it a 36 to 30 contest. Inbounds here to Fernandez. Pass to Drexel. It's going to go to Hamas, to Drexel. Bouncer here, Hamas. Posting up, high dribble, lost the ball. It's still loose. And I think Lazat had his foot on the line. Or no, nope, it's gonna be a foul. It's going to be a foul on the Vikings and Dalton Hamas. And that will be his first personal foul, 10th on the Vikings, so a double bonus situation coming up here. Bodies were flying and falling all over the pace, place in the post. And now Tony Miller will go to the line. Two shots for him. First shot up and no good off the back iron. Second shot coming. And Miller makes the free throw, 37 to 30. Fernandez with the ball. Fernandez right side against Lazat. He delivers it to Kingma. And now it's gonna be Drexel who shoots the two, no good. Ball being bad around, still bad around. Hamas had it and it's stripped away and stolen. There's Lazat with it now. Shoots the three after pulling up. No good off the back iron. Cavill with the rebound. Hands off. Miller left hand. Good off the glass. Falcons with their biggest lead. Nine point game. 39-30. Drexel coming in. Going up. Right hand. Counted in the foul. Trey Drexel puts it in. And that makes it a seven point affair. Foul is on Long, and that will be his first personal team foul, number five of the half on the Falcons. 
Free throw time for Drexel, and it's good. That makes it a six-point game. Drexel now with four points to his name in this half. Lazat with it. Lazat looking for somebody, finds Cavill. And he goes to Miller, posts up, turn around, up, short. But Cavill flies in and scores. Nice job there by Cavill to become Johnny on the spot. And Harry Cavill has 10. Three-pointer up and good, though, on the other end for Drexel. And that gets the Vikings within five. Good back and forth going on right now between these two rivals. Long with it over to Lazat. Lazat driving right. Almost lost the ball. Now it's Miller. Shoots from the corner. No. Rebound Cavill. Drexel goes down. No foul though. Long open look for three. Top of the circle. Goal! Gavin Long hits it. And he's got six points now. 44-36. Fernandez with the ball. Front court. Less than two minutes until halftime. Drexel almost slid that left foot out a little too far. Steps back for three, not even close. It's short, and that's out of bounds to the Falcons. And a timeout. Timeout on the floor with a minute 26 to go. And a timeout called by Western. So they only have two left in this game that they can take with them to the second half. Interesting. Decision there by Tony Dominguez, the six-year head coach for the Western Washington Vikings to use his timeout there. Back in a moment, 44-36, Falcons. Eisenhower checks in for the Falcons one more time. Eisenhower with four three-pointers in this first half. Don't forget when we come out of halftime, we'll have some SPU sports news for you as well as some stats from the first half. And coverage of the second half, of course, between the Falcons and the Vikings. Thomas, and it's off to Fernandez, and he walked. Fernandez driving left, trying to get by Lazat, and he couldn't do it. Brad Wallace now checks in. Timeout Falcons, and that's their use it or lose it timeout that they can't take with them for the second half. So they have three timeouts remaining. And they lead it 44 to 36 with a minute five left before halftime. And we'll be back in a moment. Following the timeout called by the SPU Falcons, a minute left in the first half and count it. 44-36, Falcons trying to go up by double digits right now. Here's Miller, fix up the defender. Pass goes off a of Viking, they can't save it though. Drexel could not save it and get the turnover for the Vikings. Still 17 seconds left to shoot on the shot clock for the Falcons. Eisenhower inbounds, he goes to Olsen. Olsen holds it, and Olsen, nine to shoot, eight seconds, comes in, goes up, no good, rebound into the hands of Hamas. Back the other way we go in transition, Drexel comes in, and he's fouled on the way up. Looks like by Cavill, a blocking foul is going to be called there, and that will be number six on the Falcons in this half, and number one on Cavill. 33.9 seconds left in the half, and now Drexel goes to the line for two shots. 
Shooting foul called on the floor. And they wipe off some condensation in the restricted area. Right now Drexel with seven points as he gets ready to go to the free throw line. Now Drexel makes the first free throw. 44-37. Second free throw coming up. Drexel puts it in and it's 44 to 38. Miller inbounds to Olsen. This will be the last possession for the Falcons in this half. The shot clock and the game clock are separated right now by about three seconds, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Now it's going to be Olsen and offensive foul as Fernandez goes down. Hunter Eisenhower called for the foul on that moving screen. His first. Seven from the Falcons, but no bonus situation here for the Vikings because it was an offensive foul. But well, the Vikings will get the last shot of the half. They were probably going to always get the last shot of the half anyway, but now they get 12.8 seconds to draw up something here. Drexel for three, and he hit it! Clock is ticking. Two seconds, one second, and Stroyford throws it up from one end of the court to the other, and it's no good. High and wide off the glass. So that's the end of the first half. Falcons led in this half by as much as nine, and they go into the locker room up by three, 44 to 41. So we'll take about a 12, 13 minute timeout in our coverage and then we'll come back for some SPU sports news and halftime stats for you. So we'll see you then.
Oh, about three minutes away or so from starting the second half between the SPU Falcons and the Western Washington Vikings are scored halftime right now. It's the SPU men 44 and Western Washington 41. Good ball game here between these two GNAC rivals. Neither team has led so far by double digits. Tom Giordano here with you right now, and we are going to go over some SPU sports news and halftime stats for you before we get back to the game. First, the SPU sports news at hand. The women's basketball team won 70-61 against Montana State Billings in the first game of tonight's doubleheader. Jordan McPhee led the Falcons with 19 points. The SPU women remain home to host Northwest Nazarene next Thursday. That's Falcon women's basketball January 4th at 7 o'clock right here in Brome Pavilion. The SPU men's basketball team is in action at home again on Saturday night. The Falcons entertain GNAC rival Simon Fraser at 7 o'clock on December the 30th. So come back to Brome Pavilion on Saturday at 7 for the final SPU sporting event of the 2017 calendar year. We will see you then. Now... Some quick look at some halftime stats here. Western Washington was more efficient with their field goal shooting compared to the Falcons in the first half. Western shot 15 of 30 from the field, 50%. Falcons only shot 13 of 33, 39.4%. Vikings shot 5 of 11 from three-point land, 45.5%. Falcons just 6 of 15, 40%. The difference in this game right now is the free throw shooting. Falcons have gotten more opportunities to shoot from the free throw line and they've made more free throws. The Falcons right now are 12 of 15 from the line, 80% for them. Vikings are shooting 85.7% but just six of seven from the free throw line. So six more free throws made for the Falcons in what is right now a three point game in favor of SPU. Falcons out rebounding Western 19 to 16 and the Falcons they have trailed more than they've led the Vikings have led tonight for 12 minutes and 7 seconds 60.6 percent .6 of the game Falcons they've led for 6 minutes 22 seconds 31.8 percent of the game we've had two ties and nine lead changes in this contest Largest lead for either side was SPU when they were up 39-30 with 2.48 to play in the first half. Vikings, by the way, also have more turnovers than the Falcons do. 11 turnovers for Western, 6 for the Falcons. Leading scores for both sides. Hunter Eisenhower with four, four three-pointers. He's got 12 points for the Falcons. And Gary Cavill right behind him with 10. Tony Miller has 8. For the Vikings, Trey Drexel has 12. DeAndre Dixon has 10. And those are your leading scores for both sides. So we're ready to start the second half here between the Falcons and the Vikings. Both of these teams trying to get a leg up here early on in the GNAC season. Falcons 1-1 one one in GNAC competition so far. Western 2-0. Vikings inbound first to start the second half. It's Drexel who gets the inbounds and puts the ball in motion. And now it's Jasinski. Jasinski coming in, going up, reverse, no good. Rebound tipped into the hands of Schilder. And Logan Schilder makes the basket and the foul. And that gets Western within one with a chance to tie. Vikings going from left to right in this half. Falcons going from right to left on your screen. Foul that time going on Nathan Stoyford. His first personal foul. First of the half on the Falcons, obviously. On the floor right now for SPU, you have Coleman Wooten, Sam Simpson. Didn't call his name out that much in the first half. Gabe Calissimo, Tony Miller, Gavin Long. Free throw no good. Rebound tipped. And out of bounds. Last touch off Hamas. Miller did not touch that ball. Good call by the officials to give the Falcons the ball. For the Vikings in this half to start it off, it's Drexel, Schilder, who just scored the basket for them, DeAndre Dixon, Trevor Jasinski, and Dalton Hobbs. And now it's Schroyford inside to Wooten. Long, and driving right Miller, and he can't make it. 
It's actually a misidentified Sam Simpson. It's actually Nathan Stroyford in the game. 30, not 3. It said 3 on the scoreboard, so that's my mistake. Miller hands it off to Long. Over to Stroyford. And over to Wooten. Driving left against a double team. Gets it over to Stroyford. Trying to go up against Shoulder. Didn't have any room. And he's fouled with 5 seconds to go on the shot clock. Two free throws coming up here for the Falcons. It's going to go on Shielder, and that's his third. One foul piece for both sides to start off the second half. And now it's free throw time. Stroyford to the line. First free throw, no good. Off the back iron. Stroyford gets one more free throw here. And the second free throw up and good for Nathan. So that puts the Falcons back up by two. Stroyford came into this game shooting 17 and 21 from the free throw line this year. 45-43. Thomas going to the right against Long. Goes up right hand. Good. We're tied. 45-45. Calissimo. Front court. Bouncer here, Wooten. Wooten heading left around the screen set by Miller. And now it's Calissimo. Bounces. Tony Miller. Mid-range shot. It's good. Nice fade away by Tony. He's got 11. And that puts the Falcons up too. 47 to 45. And now it's going to be Dixon. And off here to Hamas. And the three-pointer for Jasinski. No. Rebound. Stroyford. Back the other way. Here comes Calissimo. Calissimo with the ball, hands off Wooten. Wooten heads left around the screen, set by Stroyford. Stroyford gets it now, shot no good, too strong. Along the baseline, the rebound gets into the hands of Dixon. Back the other way we go, Falcons up two. Drexel with it. Drexel coming in, gives it over to Dixon. Dixon with the ball now. Shoots the two, and that's good, and we're tied again. 47-47. Good game between these two teams, just like you'd expect in a rivalry contest. Calissimo to Wooten, screen set by Stroyford. And Wooten going up, and that's good with the right hand. Nice short turnaround by Wooten. With Hamas and Schilder nearby on defense. And now it's gonna be Drexel. Drexel, where's he gonna go? He's gonna hand it off to Schilder, back to Drexel now, left side. And he kind of behind the backs it to Shoulder. And now it's Thomas. Thomas. Three-pointer on the way. It's good for Dixon. Vikings have the lead, and a timeout will be called. This may be a timeout for the Falcons, but we'll see. Yep, full timeout called by the Vikings, so... Interesting management of the timeouts here by their head coach, Tony Dominguez. We only got one timeout left, and we still have 17-10 left to play. And sometimes you just in a close game like this, you just don't know when those timeouts are going to come in handy as it relates to setting up a play or, or talking over a play or, or getting out of a tough situation or whatever. They only got one timeout left in their back pocket. Falcons still have three timeouts left in their pocket with 17-10 to go. 50-49, to 49, Vikings ahead after that Dixon three. First time in this half that the Vikings have had the lead. And right now, for what it's worth, we're up to four ties and 10 lead changes. Falcons have tied the game twice. Western has tied the game twice. Falcons have taken the lead back five times. Western has taken the lead back five times. It has been that competitive of a game. And it's only going to get more competitive, you would think, as we go on here. Both of these teams, athletically and otherwise, appear to be matching up pretty well so far 
And we continue on here as Calissimo catches the inbounds pass. Bouncer here, Stroyford. Gonna go to Wooten. Wooten coming in. Coming along the baseline, and now he goes to Calissimo. Wooten going for three, no good. Rebound tip, Stroyford keeps it alive for the Falcons, and he gives it to Calissimo. Risky pass, out of bounds, off Wooten. Well defended there by Jasinski on kind of a high ballooning pass. So the inbound's coming, and it is going to go to Drexel. Drexel with it. Drexel is going to give it to Schilder. Over to Jasinski. They work it to Drexel. Inside, a chance here, and the layup is good for Hamas. He had a point blank look at the basket, got knocked down as he took the shot. No foul call, but he made the basket no problem. Calissimo hands off. Wooten. Wooten. Posting up. Fakes. Comes in right hand. Turn around. No. Rebound. Stroyford taps it in. Nathan Stroyford cleans up the mess inside. And that makes it a 52-51 game. Falcons down one. Thomas. Jasinski coming in. Blocked! But a foul. So close to being a clean block on that slam dunk attempt by Jasinski. The foul's called on Wooten, and that's his first. Second team foul on the Falcons in this half, and a timeout on the floor with 15.50 to play. 52-51, Vikings ahead. Free throws coming up for them when we return. Fifteen minutes, fifty seconds left in the contest. Two free throws coming up for Jasinski for the Vikings. Jasinski, nineteen and twenty-five this year from the free throw line, going into this game, seventy-six percent for him, and the first free throw up and no good as it rolls in and out. Vikings up by one; they can go up by two with a made free throw here. And here we go with Jasinski, and it's good. 53-51, Vikings by two. Their biggest lead in this game has been five. Falcons' biggest lead in this game has been nine. And that one picked off. Jasinski takes it away, and he slam dunks it home in transition with the right hand. And he's pumped about that. 55-51, timeout. And that's an attitude changer right there. As Jasinski just took that ball right away from Cavill and dunked it home on the other end. Falcons with two timeouts left. And they trail by four, 55-51 with 15.28 to go. Continuing on here, Falcons following the timeout. And a turnover that led to that Jasinski dunk and 
two points for Western. And there's Tony Miller inside. He gets the pass from Cavill and scores. 55-53. Miller with 13 points for the Falcons. They work it to Jasinski. And Jasinski gets Cavill away from him and he scores. Jasinski making it happen there once again. He's got 11. Calissimo, Cavill. Cavill. Driving right, just turns and throws it up and he didn't get lucky there. That was a little bit ill-advised as he threw it up in traffic. Thomas, that pass broken up out of bounds. And now it's going to be Eisenhower and Olsen who check in for the Falcons with 14.43 to go. Inbounds pass coming up here. For Hamas from the baseline. Hands it off to Schilder, now back to Hamas. Back pedals against Stroyford, shoots the three, and it's good. So here come the Vikings up by seven, their biggest lead of the night. Western gained a lot of momentum right now as Cavill takes it. Going to Stroyford. Bouncer to Eisenhower. Pulls up, shoots, no good from short mid-range. Rebound going to Drexel, back the other way we go. Trey Drexel in the front court. And they work it to Jasinski. Throws it up. Can't make it with a right hand. Schilder couldn't tap it in. Falcons get the loose ball. Olsen blocked from behind but not cleanly. It's a foul on Jasinski. And that's going to be the second foul on the Vikings in this half. Number one overall on Jasinski. So two free throws here for Braden Olsen. See what Olsen can do from the free throw line right here. Get the Falcons a little bit closer. And the first free throw up and good. So that makes it a six point affair with 14.01 to go. Olsen with seven points to his name. Second free throw. Good again. And that makes it a five point game. Inbounds here to Drexel. Drexel. Dixon. And they work it inside toward Drexel, but they're going to say it's a holding foul on the Falcons. That prevented Drexel from making that catch along the post. It's going to go on Olsen, and that's his second. So the ball goes out of bounds, but it's a foul on Olsen. Third foul on the Falcons in this half compared to two for the Vikings. We'll get an inbounds here from the high post. Falcons down five. Yeah, do something to change the momentum here. Long pass, they can go over and back with it with Jasinski for that inbounds. And now it's Drexel in the front court. Drexel against Olsen. Going to Hamas. Bounces to Dixon. Against Miller. Fakes. Goes up. No! But the rebound gets in the hands of Drexel. They can't poke it free from him. Goes up, and that's a goaltending call on Stroyford. He touched that ball as it was coming down. Probably not a good play on his part because that was going to be short. So the Vikings get points. Cavill to Eisenhower. Falcons clearly trying to speed it up here on this possession as Miller goes in, can't score, but he is fouled. And they'll go to the line for two. Grant Leap wanting his team to change the tempo a little bit here. As the foul is called this time on Jasinski, and that's his second. Team's third of the half. Three fouls for both teams now so far in the second half as Tony Miller steps to the charity stripe. Miller with 13 points for the Falcons. Trying to make it 15 here eventually. First free throw up and good as Gavin Long checks in for the Falcons. He checks in for Cavill. Cavill with 10 points so far. Second free throw coming for Miller. It's going to be up and it's going to be no good. The rebound gets into the hands of Schilder. Back the other way we go. Hamas with it. Front court. Hamas coming in. And they tried to work it inside to Jasinski but the connection on the pass wasn't there. Falcons get it back. Chance to get it within four or three. 
Olsen. Front court. Olsen passes left. Eisenhower, no good. That would have been his fifth three of the night. Rebound tip to Schilder. Ball going out of bounds. Last touch off the Falcons. Good effort by them to try to create a turnover, but didn't happen. Now the Vikings a chance to go up by eight or nine. Neither team has really separated themselves from the other in this contest so far. Nobody's left by double digits, and now Stroyford takes it away from Schilder, and Stroyford going all the way. He can't make the slam dunk or the layup because Schilder interrupted it, but he will go to the line for two. And that will be the fourth foul of the half on the Vikings, number four overall on Schilder. So he's probably going to have to come out of the game, and he will come out of the game as Blake Fernandez goes to the scorer's table to check in. But the first shot for Stroyford, no good from the free throw line. So Schilder out of the game with four fouls. So that takes away some size along the high post for the Vikings. Schilder standing at seven foot, but the Falcons miss the second free throw. And Dixon gets the rebound and hands it to Fernandez. So it's still a six point game. Bouncer to Drexel. Up against Olsen, posting up, turn around, good! Eight point game. Falcons have some work to do on the offensive end. Miller, Eisenhower, heading left. Stroyford inside, Miller, yes! Off the glass and in with the right hand. That gets the Falcons within six, still a lot of time left. Jasinski, Drexel, they try for three, and it's in and out. For Hamas. That looked like it was going right on line into the net. And Alex Miller in the front court. Olsen. Eisenhower. Bouncer to Miller. Posting up. Has the size advantage and he's fouled. It was posting up against Fernandez. Miller had the clear advantage there. Miller 6'6", 210. Fernandez 6'1", 175. And we get a foul here on the Vikings. That'll be number five on them in the half. Foul is on the Vikings, goes on Blake Fernandez. And it's going to go on Fernandez, and that's his second. Timeout on the floor. 11.38 to go. Under 12 minutes to play. Score is 64 to 58. Vikings ahead of the Falcons. Back in a moment. Well, we have 11 minutes and 38 to go. The foul that was called on Fernandez was not a shooting foul, so the Falcons have to inbound from the baseline. Cavill hands it right back off to Long. Fakes. He's going to kick it out. 14 to shoot. Miller hands it off. Olsen. 10 seconds. 9 seconds. Fakes. Goes up. No foul. It's short. Loose ball. Picked up along the baseline by Hamas. Back the other way we go. Dixon. Falcons can't get any closer than six. It seems like the last few minutes here. Drexel against Olsen. Turn around. It's short. And the rebound gets into the hands of Eisenhower. Now Cavill. Front court. Moving quickly. Floats it up. And in. Harry, Harry Cavill scores. 
He's got 12, and the Falcons are within four. Still 10.47 left. Drexel against Olsen. Fernandez against Eisenhower coming in along the baseline now. Kicks it out. Thomas almost lost the ball, but he kicks it out. Three-pointer up and good. Trey Drexel hits it, and it's a seven-point lead. Drexel with 21 points now. Miller. And driving right is long, and he kicks it out. Olsen open look for three. He hit it. Wade and Olsen takes it right back. He's got 11. Four double-digit scores on the floor right now for the Falcons. Olsen with 11. Cavill with 12. Eisenhower with 12. Miller with 16. Evenly distributed right now. More or less. Shot no good from the outer edge of mid-range for Jasinski. And now here's Olsen in transition. Coming in. Kicks out long. Cavill for the three. Can't make it. Rebound though to Olsen. Falcons within four. 9.39 left. Olsen. Long. Cavill. Bounces here to Miller. Mid-range turnaround. No. Rebound. Cavill can't keep it alive. Out of bounds. Last touch off Cavill. And Gabe Calissimo checks in for the Falcons, as well as Nikhil Lazat. Looks like Olsen and Cavill check out of the game for the time being for the Falcons. Fernandez gets the inbounds here for the Vikings, and he takes it across the timeline, going against Lazat. Goes around the screen, and he kicks it out. Hamas against Long, spins around. They can't poke it free. Out of bounds. And it's out of bounds. Clean block, it looks like. And it's a last touch off the Falcons. 15 to shoot now as the inbound. Going up, Drexel scores from short mid-range. And it's now 69-63, six-point lead for the Vikings. Calissimo. Calissimo heading to his left. Eisenhower fakes, now comes in for two, and that's good. Four point game. Hunter Eisenhower, that's his first field goal in a while. He's at, he has four three pointers in this game, and that was his first two pointer of the night. 14 points for him overall. Dixon hands it off. Drexel, and Thomas to Dixon, hands it off, Drexel. Tipped off the double team, but it gets into the hands of Dixon. And sluice again, but Dixon hangs on to it. Shot on the way. Difficult one with Miller in his face. No good. Rebound was up. Outlet pass long. Long. Stops. Blocked by Dixon cleanly. And now we're going to get a foul as the loose ball gets into the hands of Drexel. Foul is on long, and that's his second. Fourth foul of the half on the Falcons. So a nice stop there by Dixon in transition. And now 8.09 to go. Drexel. They pass it left. And coming in is Jasinski, and we get a foul here on Eisenhower before any kind of shot can take place. Number five on the Falcons in this half. So each team now with five apiece. Two on Eisenhower. Timeout on the floor with eight minutes on the clock. 69-65. Vikings ahead by four. We'll be back in a moment.
All right, back in action here. Eight minutes to play in the second half. Score is 69-65. Vikings in the lead. They inbound after the SPU foul. And now this is Hamas, left corner against Calissimo. Against the double team, shoots, and it's short. Rebound to Miller. Calissimo. It's been a long time since the Falcons have made it a one-possession game. They have a chance to do it right here. And now along with it, left side. Lazat fakes 11 to shoot, comes in quickly. Nice job to keep a handle on it. And inside, they can't get it to Miller. It's poked free by Hamas. Back the other way we go. Drexel kicks out. Fernandez, they try for three, and it's good. Dalton Hamas hits it from the top of the circle. Seven-point lead for the Vikings. 7-10 left. Calissimo to long. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Screen set. Long coming in. Root. Lazat. Working right. Crossing over now. He goes to Calissimo to Long. Nine seconds. Comes in. Miller for three from the corner. He got it! Tony Miller hits it. And boy, the Falcons need that. They take back the three-pointer basically from the Vikings. And it's 72-68. Fernandez, coming in, takes a couple times, they kick it up to Hamas, and they have a hard time getting it to Dixon in traffic, and we're going to get a foul. Number six on the Falcons in the half, and one away from putting Western in the bonus now, foul that time on Long, his third, but it's Tony Miller who checks out of the game. Right now for the Falcons, it's Wooten, Lazat, Calissimo, Stroyford, and Long on the floor. Inbounds pass coming. Three-pointer for Drexel. No. Rebound going to Calissimo. Back the other way. Calissimo trying to speed it up. Going transition here. Now it's Wooten. Driving left. Stops. Goes to Stroyford. Over to Calissimo. 19 to shoot. Down to 16. Calissimo. Down to 12. And that one almost picked off, but Lazat gets it back. Now Calissimo for three, got it! Calissimo hits it from deep after Drexel nearly stole it and took it the other way for two points. 72-71, one point game, less than six minutes to go. Drexel, Fernandez being double team. He almost walked with the ball and he did walk with the ball. Nice defense by Lazat. He was basically in his face right there. And now Cavill will come in for Long. Five minutes, 41 to go. Inbounds here, Calissimo. And Calissimo going to Cavill. Wooten. Wooten. Going to Calissimo. Right side. 14 to shoot. Calissimo. Backpedaling. 10 to shoot. Now 9. Calissimo for the lead. It rims out. Tap in. No for Wooten. And the rebound gets into the hands of Jasinski. Hamas. Hernandez. Three pointer on the way. No for Jasinski. A little too long. Vikings get the rebound though. Hamas thought about the three, decides to come in instead. Now they work it back toward the timeline with Fernandez. 20 to shoot. Fernandez against Wooten. And now they work it to Drexel who fakes. Goes to the right, pass broken up. It's loose and Dixon gets it back. And now coming in, blocking foul is called. And Hamas scores! The Falcons were just outside the restricted area, but they called a blocking foul. Tough break for Calissimo. That's his third. Seventh on the Falcons. One free throw here for Hamas. Basket counts. That puts the Vikings back up by three, and now up by four as he drains the free throw. 
Tony Miller checks back in for Lazat. Four minutes and 35 to go. And now Calissimo. Miller. Cavill. And now it's Stroyford who hands it off. Calissimo hands it off to Stroyford who scores with the right hand. Falcons back within two. 75-73. Fernandez. Against Cavill. Screen set by Dixon. Dixon. Thought about the three, but Stroyford came in quick. Jasinski. Dixon for three. No, and he didn't draw the foul. Out of bounds off the Falcons. Tough break. Couldn't get the rebound. And a timeout on the floor with three minutes and 58 seconds to play in the contest. Good ball game so far. 75-73. Falcons trailing by just two, and we'll return in a moment. Three fifty-eight left to play. Falcons down 75-73. And the Vikings will inbound from the baseline after the Falcons could not corral the rebound along the high post. Krasinski inbounds to Drexel. Hamas posting up against Cavill. Going up right hand short. Nice defense by Cavill. Forces the bad shot. Stroyford scoops up the loose ball. Falcons can tie or get the lead right here. Cavill, he's got to find somebody. He's going to go to Calissimo. Calissimo working it to his right. Now it's long, long to Calissimo. 13 to shoot. Now down to 12 and 11. And Calissimo to long fumbles the ball, and we get a foul. I think. Is it a foul or is it a kick ball? I think this is a foul. It is. It's on Blake Fernandez, and that's his third. Just the sixth on the Vikings, so no bonus opportunity here. But it does put the shot clock back at 20 seconds for the Falcons. And now Calissimo, right side, in the corner. Falcons, if they get a basket, they have a tie or a lead. And 10 to shoot now. Calissimo, right side. They just can't get anywhere on this possession. Five seconds, Calissimo drives and bounces, Stryford blocked cleanly, loose ball, nobody could get possession of it, and we get a 30 second shot clock violation. So great defensive stand there by the Vikings with 3.04 left to go. And now the inbound's coming up. Gets over to Drexel. Trey Drexel, three minutes to go. Vikings trying to go up by two possessions. Drexel posts up, hands off, Dixon, two-hand slam. Dixon just slid through the back door while they were double-teaming Drexel. 77-73. Less than three minutes to play. Cavill, right corner, whistle. I think we get a foul here. So one and one situation. Foul this time going on Dixon. That's his third. Each team now with 17 fouls apiece. One and one situation here for Tony Miller. 
So Miller, free throw, up and good. So he gets a second one. Tony Miller now with 20 points. Trying to get the Falcons within two right here. Tony Miller makes the second free throw and it's 77-75. Drexel with the ball. Any kind of basket here for Western would put him back up two possessions. Jasinski over to Schilder in the game with four fouls. Jasinski, right corner, trapped with a double team. Now he gets it back to Drexel. Drexel for three. No, he just tries to kick it out to Dixon, but Dixon recovers. Four seconds, three. Drexel coming in. No good. Rebound Miller. Back the other way. Falcons trying to speed it up in transition. Two minutes left. Calissimo. And that one's broken up by Hamas in the high post with a minute 57 to go. Hamas read that pass perfectly, but the Falcons will get to inbound with 21 to shoot. The Viking defense has made some clutch stands tonight. And that was more or less another one there. But the Falcons have the ball in their hands. 12 to shoot. Cavill. Stroyford. Calissimo with eight. They're going too slow. Driving as Miller tries to throw it in traffic. No, Cavill two. One throws it up. No good off the side of the backboard. The Falcons just moving the ball way too slowly on those possessions and those passes. At least that's what it feels like. They just could not get anywhere close to the basket. And now the Vikings with the ball again, this time with less than 90 seconds to go. And any kind of basket for them makes it a two possession game. Cavill read the pass perfectly, but he couldn't pick it off. It goes out of bounds. Pass intended for Hamas there. Good play by Cavill though. 18 to shoot for the Vikings. Inbounds here. They can go over and back with this pass, and now it's Drexel. And Drexel's the one that takes it back to the front court. 10 to shoot. Drexel against Colissimo, comes in, shoots. It's in! It thought about staying out, but it went in. Two possession game with a minute and change left. And now the Falcons really need points. Long. Cavill, driving in. No, tap in, no! And now here's Drexel, two on one. Drexel. It's going to be a foul on Calissimo. And that could be the end of the ball game right here. But we'll see. Fouls on Calissimo is fourth. That should be a shooting foul. As Eisenhower checks in for Cavill. So Drexel to the line, and he will shoot two shots here. Or is it one and one? It's one and one. One and one for Drexel. It's in on the first shot, and that makes it a five-point game. And now you wonder if the Falcons should be taking three-pointers. Because if he makes this next one, you're talking about a six-point game with 48.6 to play. Timeout called. And the Falcons have one timeout left. The Vikings have one timeout left. Either way, the Falcons, they need some very quick points right here. That's for certain. So here we go on the second free throw for Drexel. Stroyford and Miller in the high post. They've got to be ready to get this rebound, too, if, if for whatever reason Drexel misses this. Here we go. It's up and good. So, 
Falcons roll the ball to save a little bit of time. Calissimo, Stroyford, and he's got to find somebody. They go to Calissimo, throws it up right hand, no! And the rebound going to Schilder, and that may do it. Now you got to start fouling. And it's Drexel who gets fouled. And that may be the end of the ball game right there with 30 seconds left. So the foul that time on Calissimo, that's his fifth, and he's out of the game, and he finishes with just three points. Olsen checks in for him. So the Vikings, they did what they had to do, particularly on the defensive end, late in this game to keep the Falcons from winning. And it looks like they're going to go to 8-3 and three overall in the year, 3-0 and oh in the GNAC. 1-1 one one free throw situation here for Drexel. He makes the first, he gets a second. He's got 28 points to his name. Falcons will go down to 6-4 and four overall in the year, 1-2 and two in the GNAC. They next play against Simon Frazier on Saturday. And these teams will meet up again on the 27th of January. Now we get another steal for Drexel. And now a foul here as Jasinski is fouled by Miller. These teams will next meet in Bellingham on the 27th of January. And foul here on Miller. That's his second, 10th team. Double bonus coming up here for the Vikings. Free throw up and no good. But this game is effectively over unless something really bizarre happens here. Second free throw is good. Falcons, if they're going to have any kind of shot, they have to hit a three-point. Long throws it up. It's being bad around. Miller has it. And he loses the ball again. Now he steps back for three, and he got fouled on the way up. You only have 12.2 seconds left, though. Foul here on Dixon. That's his fourth. First thing the Falcons have to do is hit these first two free throws, and then we'll see if Grant Leap wants Tony Miller to intentionally miss this third one. Officials timeout for a replay review. And now officials timeout for a replay review. I think they want to check to see if, if this was a three-pointer or a two-pointer that Tony Miller shot with 12.2 remaining. But it's looking like, by and large, this is in the bag for Western Washington. And again, you got to give them credit. The Falcons, they had their chances. They had moments in the second half late when they were down by two points and one point and four points. And they had their chances to get some key baskets. But Western Washington just didn't let that happen. And they're going to find a way to win this game. Three free throws coming up here for Miller. And again, it, he's got to at least make these first two, and then you got to have a conversation about do you intentionally miss the third. See if you can get some points that way. See if you can get four points out of this. Second free throw is good. That makes it a seven-point game. Cavill and Wooten check in for the Falcons. Now let's see what Tony Miller has in mind here. And that's going to be good, so they'll just take the points. Now the Falcons have to somehow get a steal or they got to get a turnover. Vikings have a timeout left in their back pocket. And that pass caught by Hamas. And there's the two-hand slam. And there's the cherry and whipped cream on top for Schilder with 7.8 to go. And that will put him up eight. And now are they going to make them shoot a technical free throw? I don't know why they would stop this. 
officials timeout for replay review. I don't know what on earth you could be possibly reviewing, though. I mean, that just seemed like a, a self-explanatory play. I mean, he threw it over to Schilder, and he dunked it. <laughs> I mean, let's go already. They think he hung on the rim. Is that what it is? Are they looking at time on the clock? And the last play is upheld. No foul on the play. No foul on the play is what they they that call. No foul. That's what they confirmed. All righty then. And the keel is up. Maybe there would have been a foul on the back court right before they threw the pass. Either way, that that dunk pretty much ices it. Lazat with the ball, and now there's another stoppage. And uh, this is just only going to drag the end of this game out even more. 7.8 on the clock. There's Lazat to Eisenhower. Comes in, fakes, goes up, scores. That'll make it a six-point game, and that'll be the end of the game. 86-80. A good ball game tonight, but the Falcons fall to their conference rival, Western Washington, their in-state rival, their Western Washington rival, as the Vikings win it over the Falcons, 86 to 80. So the Falcons will have to rebound against Simon Frazier on Saturday night at 7 o'clock here from Royal Brown Pavilion. We'll see you then. Until next time, this is Tom Gillinella saying good night.